because of fear. Ultimately, if, if there was no fear, there'd be no armies. If we're all operating in covenant, then all the nations of the world would be in covenant with one another and they'd all be there to bless each other. But of course, they're there to compete. And that division, because we're divided up into countries and nations with different ideologies and different religions and different this, that and the other. And then we then compete against one another for supremacy in the usually in the political or economic arena, mostly. And then in that supremacy, we will then fight over it. We will have conflict, which then creates even more tribalism and we'll go round and round and round and round. So we've got to break the cycles, you know. And, you know, I know, you know, if, if you would talk to any political people or, well, no, we need an army to defend ourselves. Otherwise, we'd be vulnerable. Yeah. Well, why are you going to be vulnerable? Well, who's going to want to attack you? Well, those who are against our ideology. Well, stop attacking their ideology. There's, this is the problem. It's all offense, defense, offense, defense. All there is is conflict. That conflict creates tension and that tension is fear. And then fear is an environment that actually creates that enables yeah. it to take place so for us we should be looking to dampen down the fear making sure we're not afraid legislating that people would come into peace trusting god for their provision protection in him yeah. and therefore not escalating the problem because we are then joining in with the fear and making it more likely something would happen because fear that's what fear does you know so in this situation you know Ultimately, I believe in the restoration of all things. I'm not, I don't believe the planet's going to be destroyed by nuclear war and all, you know, I don't believe that. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of legislation that goes on to keep a limit on what happens in the earth, in the Council of 70 and other heavenly councils that brings about a balance, you know, in judgment, justice, grace, and mercy, you know, functioning honor in heaven to bring about peace on earth. Because didn't Jesus come as Prince of Peace? Didn't they declare peace on earth when he came, the angels? You know, and actually, why, why are we stocking ourselves up with arms when Jesus is Prince of Peace? And as believers, I sort of somewhat struggle with the sort of politicization and thing of fear-based, arm yourself, protect yourself against the enemy. Yeah. If you think of some another country as an enemy, then that what Jesus said, pray for your enemies, actually. He didn't say us to arm ourselves or make treaties against the enemy. He says, pray for them. So if we didn't treat them as an enemy, maybe they wouldn't act as an enemy. <laughs> anyway, yes. different, different way of looking at things, but I'm looking at there's no end to the increase of God's government and peace yes not political solutions to the world's problems yeah. thank you they create more problems not less <laughs>